Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. That is really cool, I like that. I really do like that. Alright, same with the same with the last load. We're just gonna dump this over in the corner of the sawmill and then we're gonna leave it. And the reason I'm gonna unload it is because we are gonna want to try and clear a little bit more of the field. So we're not gonna like of our new field that we're making. So we're not gonna want to just like forget everything. Um, we're not just going to want to leave the trailer down here and just, just forget all about it because I'm... Okay. That one finally gave up. I suppose I should have expected that. Let's bring you back up this way and... Bring you over here. Like that. And then we'll back him up this way. There we go. That should do. I should do nicely. I should think. And then we go here, and then I press Z, and I start them unloading. We now have another pile of timber down here. I mean, if I had a sell point for timber down here, that that would be quite cool. But I don't think I've actually got anywhere that I can sell timber now, because the only sawmills available are ones that are modded ones. So, that trailer right there, let's bring that one out a bit, and hmm. I'll take the trailer with me. I will take the trailer with me. I'm just going to have a look a minute and see if I have any sell point for timber. Right, there is that selling station right there, which I think sells everything. It does allow you to sell the whole lot. There's the donut sale right there, which is the standard donut, not the other three types of donuts that we get. So that one only takes those donuts. Um, there is a sell point here. Mouse over and just let's see. Do you take logs? It's even got pallets. It's got pallets right there, but it doesn't seem to actually have logs on it. This is a firewood selling point. Oh, of course, that's with the mod that turns the logs into firewood. Um, so, no, I don't think that one would actually sell just the ordinary logs that we've got there. Government drain allows you to tip everything out. You gotta pay to get rid of everything else. Oh, sell everything. Timber, something, cotton, but it says literally sell everything. That might be the one that we need. We bring the logs over the top of that one and try to say it might work, it might, I don't know. I, I reckon it probably would because it does have the exclamation mark, which is what you normally need to trigger the selling of timber. So that sell everything one might be what we're looking for if we want to make some money selling our timber. Oh, and we have the recycling center. So there's... I don't know what those bales are. Point of sale, clothing, planks. Furniture. Okay, so no, we don't have this wholesale in there. I don't know what that one is. This grass of some oh grass oh the hay pellets that is. That's that's the hay pellets on the wholesale. I think they're all agricultural products, so there's a few extras. Yeah, I'm not sure what those sell. Selling station grain gate. Selling station plane. This one as well, we may also be able to sell everything that you can sell. I'm, I'm not quite sure. So th there's a couple of options right there that we might be able to use. If we decide that we do actually want to sell some of our timber rather than converting it all, 
I kind of like the idea of having to convert all of our timber. Of stating that we cannot direct sell any logs. We must take all timber that we fell in our forest here um, in order to build our city that we're building. All of the timber must be turned into um, usable products. That's kind of like a compensate because we've got a pristine forest here. Pristine, virgin, untouched forest that has um, never been spoiled by man. And we're here absolutely destroying the place. And so I sort of feel that perhaps there should be some penalty to that. And, you know, maybe us having to at least use up the timber for useful things is a little bit of a penalty and it, it seems like that would be a use you know a, a, a good compromise right what do we got in here 6225 for may june july is when it's really going to hit the high point so let's go and sleep the night loan interest of 1683 and the income the the property income was like eight and a half grand which is pretty good uh right now we're on 6459 which is apparently higher than it was at any point last year so even though it's only june in theory 6462 it's climbing quite rapidly. 6.3. I'm going to watch the price because I think the time has come to sell all of the furniture. Rather than doing uh, too much else, we'll, we'll... You know what? I'm going to need to go and get the trailer. So I'll get the trailer and we'll get that loaded up. And I'll also fast forward time a little bit as well. So we'll jump this towards lunchtime so i think the price is going to just keep increasing let's have a check see how we're doing six four nine nine six five oh nine right still going up nicely There's nothing else that, well i would be doing a bit of the decorative work or maybe cutting down some logs today We don't need to worry too much about that. We've got two more pallets of timber outside each of these. Uh, how are we doing now? Even though the part, the tim furniture is on a red mark at the moment, the price is actually still... Oh, no, it started coming down there. Right. It started to come down, so I'm going to stop the time progressing we're on 6588 which is actually higher than what it says it's been previously right there um in theory it would come down a bit more uh the furniture factories have all got two pallets sat outside them and well most of them have got two pallets sat outside them uh, they got a little bit to go before they get another pallet so i'm not going to worry too much about that what i will do is i will pick up all of the furniture that we can and then we'll come back through and we'll get some more in a minute so we can do that and you are uh, enable auto load should be fine just enable auto load we should just be able to drive up alongside each of these up alongside the others I'm gonna get a full trailer load on now I'm just gonna go up beside the big stack that we've got here and I'll take that lot so we've got 19,000 furniture on board already look at this fantastic look at that I got 40 pallets of furniture on here that's 40,000 liters of furniture or units I suppose you don't you don't generally measure furniture in liters do you it's not the normal kind of approach to measuring how much furniture you got um, we'll run this back so we're not gonna have a second full trailer load but we're not gonna be too far off this 
because we've still got three back at the other place. This is gonna, this is gonna get us an absolute. And it's quite heavy as well. It, it's quite a lot on here. Struggling to pull this. And we'll sell all of this. Go back, get the next lot, sell all of that. So we're on like we've got six thousand per thousand liters, which are six and a half thousand. So we're on six and a half thousand times forty, which is lots and lots. I'm not quite sure how many lots and lots. I don't want to go around this corner too fast. I'm a bit worried that the load is going to tip over. I don't want that to happen. And come up here. This is going to be so cool. All right, we're definitely getting lag around the, the shop area, which we weren't before. So there's something to do with the patch 1.5. So I'm going to take all the straps off like that, and then we're slowly going to inch our way through. And there we go. Look at Look at that money coming in. Oh, that is so cool. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight. We're going to try and get all of this to go through in one lot so that we can see how much we get for a full load of furniture. That's that lot. And I got all the last three lots of pallets unloading. <laughs> oh, 263,000 thousand euros for that trailer load and I've got another load of them back down at the factories as well this is so awesome this is way better than selling timber direct we are so doing more of this we're gonna want a sell point for the likes of acetic acid uh, paper cardboard all of that we're definitely gonna want it um, Ooh, there is one thing that I could do before we go off and get the rest because the, there was a couple of sell points there wasn't there so we've we got these selling points here there was some way you can sell everything so selling station grain gate plane right if I have that one there we've got our like we, we've got a little test point over here so I can just dump that one down there and then there was also another one that we had that would sell sell everything let's drop that one in there Right, and sell everything container. Oh, I see. You got a little bit of decoration with it. That's pretty cool. I like that. We'd definitely have that one rather than just that the plane sell everything, I think. Slurry yard. Now, where was the other one? There was another one. We had a sell point right there. I don't think that one was selling quite everything. Selling station products. Let's try that one. I think that's it. Right, so I've got those there, which means that now if I go into here, let's see if sell everything has come up. And we do. We've got sell everything, station plane, and station products. Nine grand for donuts. Okay, that's pretty cool. And those plain donuts are a little bit less. Empty pallets, 5,000. Bark mulch, nothing. Very, very little. Uh, these in here, they're all about the same price. Biomaterial. It's just in the, the sell everything. Compost. So we could turn it into compost and then we can sell that at 1600 where the silage... What are we getting for silage? Because that's, that's what we're doing at the moment. Silage goes to 573. I don't know what the ratio is for making compost, but maybe turning the grass into compost rather than silage is the way forward. Okay, so beams. Four to five thousand. Uh, that's about what they are right now. Empty barrels, almost six thousand. Uh, they actually go up, they continue to go up higher, six and a half thousand. Uh, paper over here. Okay, that's a very linear up and down there. I'm assuming that that would change a bit. So we get about 2,000 for paper. Cardboard is 2,500. Acetic acid, molasses. This is so cool. Right. Absolutely loving that. And I'm going to go back into construction over here. And then we are going to sell these three sell points. Because we're not going to use them here. Okay. And that one... Okay, and that one 
Yes, okay, right. So we now know that we can sell those with the sell everything mods. Um, we, we'll just like load everything up and we can get rid of it. it it's very cool the way that works. Um, we will be able to do it. I've got other things that I have to do that I've said that I will do before I can go um, sort of setting up to do sell everything, which includes decorating this entire area right here as well as um, finishing the road, decorating those houses that we've got and doing a few other little bits like that as well. So I've got quite a bit of work to do before we can start really expanding a huge amount. Um, plus I'd like to get the cows going. I want to be able to get that set up as well. Now this bit up here, can I drive up here? Yes I can. That's good. Right, so I can drive up there, get alongside these two, and get those loaded. And we got three more, so we're not going to get the 200 and odd thousand that we had last time, but um, we've still got at least two thirds of a load here, so I'm thinking that we are going to hit about 180,000, maybe 190,000 even. 190,000 euros on top of what we've already got seems to be reasonable. I have got to stop going down here so fast. Like, that is, it, it, it's just going to end up causing me problems. If I keep doing that, I am just going to end up getting in trouble. Right there. So, we've got all of that loaded up. Let's. Uh, ah, to turn that one off. Turn that one off there, and then I've got 28,000 out of 40,000, so yeah, that's more than two thirds. Move this way, I'll slow you down a little bit, take all the straps off, and start heading through the cell point. Look at this a thing of beauty. There we go. Oh, 116,000. I shouldn't have gone backwards then. I thought I... And there's a pallet of furniture over the other side there. It's confusing me. So we got 116,000 and... 67,000. So that would be 116, 125, no, 123, 180, 183,000, so almost 200. But we now have 521 grand. What are we going to do with our 521,000? So, well, obviously, the first thing that I want to do which I talked about at length before, was that one right there, which I think would be perfect for what we want to get. That's 327, and then that one is 182. So this one I think we need to go for first because we want to get cows and we want to set them up in this area right here. That's what we talked about. So we'll buy that one right there. Has now been purchased. That one's 327. It's not going to leave us with any extra, but that does get us the bit in behind because we've got our houses right there in that bit. And they're sort of coming up that way. And this is soon going to be... We're going to need to be able to expand them up that way because I want the housing area coming up over this side. So we've got to buy that one. Yes, 327,000. It's an obscene amount of money. Absolutely obscene amount of money. I've only got 11,000 left now, which is not very much. But it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. So there's not a lot else that we want to do on um, uh, today now. That's, that's about it. We will... Yeah, well, we, we won't do any more decorative work right now. I think that what we will do, though, is now that I've sort of... I've done this bit out here with the landscaping. I'm, I'm quite happy with the way that the road is just there. That bit seems quite nice. Uh, this coming down over here is also fairly smooth. 
Um, is, is a nice smooth transition all the way down through. Overall, I'm quite happy with what we've done down there. Around the back here, this, we're not going to do very much with that just yet. There is one little bit that I do want to do a minute, which I will do now. So we're going to landscaping and we're going to want that one. And it's a little bit more that I want to do just here. So we don't want to have that dropping down. Bring that up. It's basically, I just want to work out that little bit of a... There's a corner in there. Which doesn't seem quite right. It doesn't sort of flow naturally with the way that the land works. So then we can go here and make that quite a jump bigger like that. Uh... Press L. K and L increase the strength of the circle. Bring it down a little bit. Doesn't need to be that big. There. That's going to smooth that off a little bit better, I think. That's, that's more like it. And also up here, like uh, I feel that this around here needs to just be dropped a little bit. I don't want to do too much because I don't want the truck on that bit being, like, uh, on too much of a corner. I don't want it leaning over too much when it's going up through that bit. So we do have to be a little bit careful just on this corner here that we're not leaning over too much because it won't load it properly. It does struggle with loading if you aren't very careful with that, I have noticed. So let's just... Blend there, that's much better. Right. And this is actually something that would happen in real life as well. Like, the, well, maybe not blending it quite like this, but you would, in real life, they would be making it um, as smooth as possible. Like, the, 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 the gradients and everything. Engineers would plan this out, and the, the road would be smoothed and carefully graded so that you didn't have the the big pits and bumps and lumps at least he says that but we all know that not every road works out quite like that some of them would be some of the roads would be like that and we'd be very glad of it too right let's spring that one out like that and then we can blend this back down again to that hillside I don't think it actually makes much difference when you increase the power of this when you're doing the smoothing bit. Alright, I think that's better. It's going to give us a better result. Maybe one a bit over there, but I haven't finished that bit over there anyway. Okay, that'll do for now. We're not going to do any more now, and we will leave these to run. I'm happy with that bit, so we're going to jump back over here to the home farm. I've still got to finish up the decorative stuff on those houses, and we've got to like we've got to do the sawmill road, and we've got to do the decoration around them before we're allowed to go and buy any more um, rented properties or any properties that we can rent out, either the industrial ones or housing. Um, just to make it fair, like we, we can't build thousands of them without actually completing the, the bits to start with. So I'm going to complete each stage. I'm going to be a good boy. Going to be a very good boy. And I'm going to complete each stage. The one bit that we can do, if we've got the money for it, is that we could go and do a bit with cattle over that side. And start building a cattle yard over there. But I'm not going to do that. Mainly because I don't want to. No, the reason that I don't want to just yet is because I'd actually like to cut down more of these trees. Expand this out a little bit more. We've got an area here that we can plow up already. But I'm not quite ready to start on that. I would actually like to do... Not like that. A bit more of this. So, for today, we will... I was doing it on 60 times speed. 
to do this, wasn't I? So then we'd get through time a bit faster and we'd also be able to do our work on here. So we've got, we were working on this house right here, weren't we? And we had, um, we were trying to decide how to divide this up. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to want a fence that is going to divide these two properties. So we've got a hedgerow on that side and then we've got this fence like this. So I think we will actually go with the same type of fence. You can find it. It's that one. Right, so that's the same type of fence. Now, we we're going to say that the large property is the one that, that has paid for this fence. So we will start from here. We will start from here. Now, I'm sort of looking at this. I'm going to want to join that onto the fence up there. And... Oh, I see there. We're going to snap onto that. That's perfect. Right, so we'll, we'll go from there, and then we'll bring that one up through. So a slightly bigger one on the right-hand side. And that one will go up to that point right there. And actually... I'm kind of thinking that we will do an enclosed area on this garden. Because that is actually something that is fairly common. So we, if we go to there, you can see where I've kind of got like a an, an extra bit on there. I've then got a gate here. That we can have as a smallish gate. Or I could instead go with a bigger gate there. I actually like the idea of the bigger gate because that fits the bit that I've made already. So we'll put the bigger gate on there and then we go back over this side to the fence and we take that over to there. So we can put the fence to that one or we can snap it up to... We don't want to snap it up to that one. We can go to there. Hmm. Uh, no, we'll, we'll stick with it going in that direction like that. Because the inside of our garden will have all of the, like the inside of the fence. That's, that's basically how this one's going to work. And then this one here is basically a bit more unkempt. This one is going to be a little bit more of a, a, a rough garden. Um... It is divided between the two properties. This bit here is kind of like shared. It's just an invisible line up through there. That's quite a common thing with UK properties. Um, there's a lot of properties that have that. I believe it's fairly common in the US as well. Um, different places. So these, these ones here, they've got the inside of the fence that they can see there. But then on this side, it's a peculiar thing that a lot of people do. They're quite happy to, so the inside of the garden, they see the nice bit of the fence all the way through in their property. But when it comes to fronting the street, they look at the, bad, the, the ugly bit on the back so that people looking from the street think that it looks a bit nicer. Which really strikes me as a little bit weird. Why go to all that effort? Now, this bit right here is actually going to belong to that property there. And... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.